Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm going to show you how to launch a console in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I will also show you a ton of fixes if you can't launch it for some reason, but you know, we'll get to that later. I'm making this video because I forgot to include it on my crosshair video, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I didn't realize that some of you couldn't launch console, and so, you know, I kind of just left it out, and everybody commented, and they were like, I can't launch console, and I'm like, you hit this button, and it launches this, and that's console, by the way, guys, but, you know, what, whatever. Um, so, I'm gonna just, you know, and you can, you can see the crosshair video, if you just click that annotation up in the top left, I just pointed to the top left in real life, and I realized that I'm an idiot, okay, <laughs> let's, um, Let's just go ahead and get to exactly how you enable this and how to fix it if you can't. As always, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you. Um, questions, comments, suggestions, criticism are always welcome down in the comments section. And I will reply to, like, every comment I get because I check my email obsessively for them. I love hearing you guys talk to me. Now, to activate console, click this. I mean, once you've launched your game, of course, yeah. Click this. Options. Then go down. Three, one, two, okay, whatever, I'll just get to it. And then enable developer console right here. It's really simple. It's right here. You just click the arrow as many times as you want, and then make sure it lands on yes, because that's that's the important part. Then you can hit back, and now hitting the tilde key, which is the key right below escape. Most of you should know what it is. It's a squiggly key. We'll launch a console. You can escape to close it or whatever. It's, uh, oh, you can hit the tilde key to close it too. Oh, that's awesome. So it's really that simple for most of you, um, if it's not working. But I know that a lot of you are still going to be having issues with it, so, you know, we're going to get into that. Um, if you want to change the key that it is set to, uh, or if it didn't work for you, you might need to change the key, go to Options, Keyboard and Mouse, all the way down. I love this part because it's so simple. Click on Toggle Console, right here, the last one and hit your squiggly key, which will make it look like an accent. The accent and the squiggly are the same exact thing, guys. Like the backwards apostrophe, they're the same thing. So don't worry about that too much. But if it's not set to that, I recommend putting it as uh, squiggly. If you want to change it though, feel free. Just click on it and then hit whatever button. I'm not going to do it because it likes to mess up everything for me. So I'll show you how to do it with the Zeus. That, and then hit like eight. There we go, see, simple as that. Now that's how you set your key, but if it's still not working for some reason, and it really hates you, um, I will just bear with me, I'll get to that. If it's already solved it for you and you're good, well, congratulations, you should probably close out of the video now, I don't know why you're still watching. Regardless, there is a way to launch console at the beginning of the game, if it's still not working for you, and from there you can set it permanently, so that's useful as a I, I was going to swear, but it's useful. So I'm going to go show you guys that now, and I'm going to have to close out of this part. So it's been nice seeing you, and I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. Okay, so uh, here's the way to launch console at the start of the game, and it can be used to your advantage, really seriously. I always have it launched at the start of the game, just because I, I like having it that way. So I can type anything in I need to, especially if the volumes are loud or something, uh, no. All you gotta do first is close out of your game, like that, shazam. Now you go to Steam. So you can right click it and go to library, or you can just click it and library, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, 990 hours, jeez, almost a thousand, almost, I'll get that today. Now right click on it, go down to properties, you can pause this at any time if it's going too quickly by the way guys properties, and then set launch options, which is under the general tab. So there's all these tabs, you don't need any of them except general, set launch options, big button. Click on it and go here. You don't need all of these. I have a lot of settings in, so my game runs really well, but uh, you can copy them if you feel like it, but I'm not gonna go over what they are. The most important one is minus console. Uh, yeah, minus console is just uh, pretty simple. Right there, you can see it. I would make the text larger, but I can't. Maybe it's on the screen right now. I have no idea, it probably is. Just type that in to your launch options. It's the only one you need. You don't need to hit enter or anything. Just hit OK, and ta-da, now you have it. And it will launch console at the beginning of the game, which is 
Super helpful, by the way. Uh, let's see if we can just get this up real quick. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Alright, so as you can see, we have uh, just launched up Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and here's the console. Uh, it's nice, helpful, good to have. Uh, eh, this should this should have worked for you guys. If it didn't, we're going to go into some game settings afterwards. But uh, now that you have it up, before you close it, um, accidentally, type bind quotation the squiggly key. I can't type the squiggly key because it'll close my console, but uh, you should. I'm going to put a comma there instead. So that squiggly key would go right there between the quotations. Uh, you guys are smart. You'll figure that out. And then quotation toggle console. One word toggle console. T O G G L E C O N S O L E. Um, hit enter. And then you can close out of your console. I'm not going to hit enter because it would mess things up for me. And then try hitting it a few times. Uh, just see if it works. It's working fine for me. Hopefully, it's working fine for you guys. If not, bear with me. We're going to go to the next step. All right, so now that we know that we're at like the final step, if your console is still not launching, this is the furthest that you need to go, hopefully. And seriously, if it's still not working after this, comment, and I can probably find out how to do it for you guys. But it should be working, and if it doesn't work the first time through, try all the steps again. But we need to go into your game files now, if it's still not working. So what you're going to do, if you're on Windows 7, it's different if you're on a Mac, it's different if you're on Windows 8, I think. I don't know, I've never used Windows 8. But I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows 7. It's not too hard to figure out on a Mac. You need to get to your Steam folder. So the way that most of you are going to do it is go here to your Windows icon on the bottom left, Computer, double click on this, Program Files x86 um, or x64, hopefully not though. Click on that and just open the folder up, and inside there's a lot of stuff. Uh, this is all your applications. And you're going to go down, and there's going to be a Steam folder. I forgot that I did this before the video. There's going to be a Steam folder right here uh, for most of you. If there's not, you moved it somewhere else. And you can search around for it, like Steam, and look for folders, stuff like that. Um, but for most of you, it's going to be right here, and you're going to open that up. But for me, I have it in a different folder because I like it that way. So... Steam is going to be, this is just like the other folder. We're going to open it up. Now this is the fun part, there's lots of folders to open and I'm just going to name them in uh, succession here. Steam, folder, Steam apps, common, Counter-Strike, global offensive, CSGO, ironic, redundant, CFG, and then the config file. So uh, some of you don't have the default set, so just right click it and go to, uh, oh geez, open with notepad. Others can just click, double click on it. This is your Counter-Strike Global Offensive config, which is not like a Valve secured thing, so stuff you change in here shouldn't affect anything at all anywhere else. This is just your default console settings it types in every time. And now that you're here, you're going to press Control F on your keyboard, which will bring up the find. If that doesn't work for you, uh, all you have to do is go to edit, find. Simple enough. Am I right? Or am I right? I am right. Oh, thanks, guys. Type in console. Right there. Just C-U-N-S-O-L-E. Click find next. And direction down. So... Bada bing. Oh, look. It found it. I'm a magician. Now you're going to, so you'll have toggle console right here. And you're going to go to the left of it. To right here, where there's the, ho oh, ho, what do you know? Tilde key. I'm just going to make this big. Actually, I don't know what size you guys have it in. Regardless, it'll be right to the left of it. Um, and it'll be the tilde key. Just like that. The little accent. If it's not the little accent, if it's like H, well, uh, then that's 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 a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, but don't worry about it, right, guys? Don't worry about it. Just change it. It'll be bind, 
whatever it is toggle console and you should put it to tilde once you've done that that should be all that you need to do just launch csgo and from now on it should always always work and you just hit you just hit the tilde key once you're in csgo and it'll do it it'll do it hopefully this worked for all of you um if it didn't seriously comment below i do reply to all comments and i will reply to yours if i can um if there's a solution that i come up with uh after this video that seems to be a major one it will be in the description of this video uh so just look there if uh before you comment look in the description of this video thank you everyone for watching uh, i hope that i could help you launch console and fix any issues that you had with it uh, please leave a like and subscribe if this helped you uh, questions comments suggestions criticism everything like that put it down below check out my other videos on the channel a lot of them are csgo related and there are a lot of them are helpful <laughs> i'll see you on the next video thanks guys Why are you still here? Go watch a different video, you freak.